Okay, Thursday or Friday, they dropped um, a new Star Wars, The Last Jedi trailer. I think this one's called Awake. I saw some like articles about it and stuff, but I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. But I'm going to watch it now and talk about it. Because I like Star Wars. You wouldn't know because most of my DC movies are about... Most of my videos are about DC stuff, but I have love, a lot of love for Star Wars. So let's get into it. Let the past die. It's the only way to become what you're meant to be. Darkness rises. This is not going to go the way you think. Hmm. <clears throat> that looked, I like that. Um, some of the reports I read were true, though, that this trailer reminded them. The way it was cut, I guess, a lot of The Empire Strikes Back. And, you know, it was... The Empire Strikes Back was when Luke... From the original Star Wars movies, when Luke was, I guess... They made it seem like Luke was tempted to go over to the star, the dark side from the light side. Of course, we all know how that ultimately worked out. Luke became a good guy in the end. And in this trailer for The Last Jedi, it looks like Rey is going to be tempted to go to the dark side. A little bit. Maybe by Kylo or someone. But, you know, I, I have a hunch that if they are going that route, she's not going to go on the dark side or not stay there. She's going to become a good guy, like she back again, like she was in the beginning. Because, you know, Star Wars is a Disney property, and, you know, they have to make kids and families happy and sell those toys. And they can't have their main hero turn evil. It would definitely be a bold choice if they did that, but I don't think they ever will. From a business standpoint, because they got to keep their heroes heroes, and their main hero has to stay a hero. You know, we're not going to see Rey become a Sith, you know, and stay that way throughout the remainder of the Star Wars series. I just don't think so. That's my hunch. I could be wrong, but I don't think so. And there were other interesting things like Finn. It seems like he's having a confrontation with Captain Phasma. You know, in the previous one, in The Force Awakens, Finn was, you know, a stormtrooper. But, you know, he, of course, rebelled and left the the Empire or the First Order and became one of our good guys, but of course, now he's a traitor to all the people in the First Order, including Captain Phasma, and Captain Phasma didn't do that much in The Force Awakens, but she's still alive, so of course she and Finn are going to have another confrontation and fight, although Captain Phasma, I think she's a better fighter than Finn is, right? I mean, he was a sanitation worker <laughs> before, who became like a soldier, and she's a captain, a general, in like a fleet, so I would think you know, he's going to have a tough time ahead of him. I know that in The Force Awakens, there was that scene where he operated a lightsaber for a second. But I don't know. I, I, unless they... Are they going to make Finn a Jedi, you think? Is he going to be someone who's able to wield the Force? Because otherwise, how would he have been able to activate the lightsaber and make the saber come out of the device? Can anybody activate a lightsaber and make it come out? I thought only special people... Only people, you know, who are powerful with the Force and could be Jedis could do that. I didn't know any random person could do it. So that's why I thought that when Finn activated that lightsaber, that meant he had some force power in him, and maybe he'd become a Jedi too later on down the line in the Star Wars series. Am I wrong about that? I guess if anyone watching this is better on Star Wars lore than I am, I've seen all the Star Wars movies, but I'm not someone who's like read all the books and you know played all the games and you know the video games and the tabletop games. So I'm not in, and seen all the shows, those like the Clone Wars and stuff. So there's definitely people out there who are more, even though I like Star Wars, there's people who are more experts on it than I am. And I also like the fact that we saw some more of Luke in this trailer, this teaser, because Luke, in my opinion, Luke's my favorite Star Wars character, and he's like the original big hero from Star Wars from the original three movies. And we haven't seen too much of him yet in the current movies, but of course he was like at the last scene of The Force Awakens, and the whole movie was about, you know, them trying to find Luke and stuff. And so now they found him. I I hope Luke takes a more active role in these movies going forward. It is more than just he's not just a mentor who like lectures like Ray or the kids about stuff and then you know walks off the screen and whatever. I think Luke needs to be involved and in on the action and be a critical part of storylines beyond just being the mentor advisor role, which is what they usually do with older characters in movies like these. 
But I have faith, you know, I think they brought Mark Hamill. I think part of the reason that these new Star Wars movies have been so successful so far is a nostalgia factor. People like seeing, you know, Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, Mark Hamill, and they want to see them actually, you know, back in action again, you know, the big three back. That was actually one of the things I didn't like about The Force Awakens is that we never got any scenes of them back, the three of them together again, you know, fighting the good fight, just like the old days. I think people would have got a kick out of that, seeing Han Solo, Luke Skywalker, and Princess Leia together again fighting the good fight. That never happened. Luke Skywalker never even had a scene with Han Solo in The Force Awakens. They never shared the screen together, which was horrible. I don't know. I guess, I don't know. Um, I didn't like that. I mean, I liked The Force Awakens, but I wish we'd gotten that. And, you know, so I guess, you know, that since they killed off Han Solo, we're never going to get that. <laughs> but it would have been cool. And now Princess Leia, you know, Carrie Fisher is deceased. So hopefully they film some scenes with her and Luke together in this movie. And they'll actually be able to meet and reunite at least for a little bit before, you know, they can't do that anymore. We'll see. There was that quote. I don't know who that was. General Snoke or whatever. It was a voiceover. I think that was him saying darkness rises and the light rises to meet it or something like that. And so I think this video, this movie is going to play like more with the dark and light sides of the force. And there's rumors that it's going to introduce, or I think that might've been confirmed the gray Jedi, Jedi that aren't, you know, light or dark. They're kind of in between. I think that's what the last Jedi title actually means that there's not going to be any more good, you know, force users and maybe no more bad force users. It's just going to be people who more like are gray. People who are able to use both good and light sides of the force and are able to blend the two instead of being on these extreme light and dark sides. We'll see. Um, but I think that's what they mean here. I think a lot of this, I mean, this is a teaser, which means it's supposed to tease. And part of teasing is sometimes it's enticing people by making you think that some extreme things are going to happen but aren't. Like, I don't think Rey's going to become an evil Sith. You know, I don't think there's going to be no more good guy Force users in the entire Star Wars universe from this point on. As, you know, the title The Last Jedi makes you believe. I don't believe that. But, I mean, I think they're doing a good thing here by teasing you with this to make you think, oh, is that going to happen to reel you in from a marketing perspective, right? And there's that scene where Kylo Ren, he's, I guess, piloting a ship and he presses the button like he's going to fire. And they, the way they edit the trailer makes it look like he might fire on a ship that his mother, General Leia, is in. I don't know if that's really what's going to happen because they edit things in trailers sometimes deceptively to make you think things are happening that aren't really happening in the movie that way. But it'll be interesting to see if, you know, Kylo is able to hurt or kill his mother just like he did his father in the previous one. Like he killed Han Solo, his father. Can you do the same thing to Leia? And, you know, I'm sure Leia as a mother, well, as any parent, you know, she has hope or faith in her son that he's going to come around and not be evil anymore. I'm sure it would crush her if her son would, you know, raise a hand to her like that <laughs> or try to kill her. You know, I'm sure that would break any mother's heart. We'll see. I mean, this is just a teaser. Like I said, they're teasing you. I have no idea if that's what's actually going to happen in this movie, but that's going to be a very pivotal and emotional scene if they do it right. It's one of the things I'm, well, I actually forgot about it <laughs> until I watched this teaser. I, it's not something I'm thinking about all the time when it comes to Star Wars, but now that it's been raised... I am intrigued. I'm going to see what their final confrontation or meeting looks like, especially since, you know, Carrie Fisher's deceased. And I don't think that the people who run Star Wars right now, they may not have had time. They may have planned to do more with them in another movie, but they can't do that because Carrie Fisher's not alive anymore. So we'll see what we get with what they were able to do with the time they have between, you know, Kylo and Leia. And because I, I think Kylo is a long term Star Wars character. I don't think he's going to be like a villain for this trilogy and then go off. I think they're going to try to make him like an antihero. Or maybe like a, lo a more long-term villain. I don't know anything. That's just a theory I have. <laughs> I think he's great as a villain. Um, I'm interested to see what caused him to turn. I, I, or just get to get more fleshed out of his character than him showing up being this evil Sith. You know what the writers and directors decide to do with him. But anyways, all good stuff, right? I liked it. I like this better than the last Star Wars tra teaser trailer I reviewed. This movie comes out, what, December 15th or something like that? Like almost a month after Justice League. Justice League actually has a whole month in theaters without major competition before Star Wars comes out. That's great, actually. Because, you know, Star Wars is going to, like, dominate everything when it's released. 
But anyways, this is a Star Wars video. But anyways, I liked it. Good stuff. Um, I will try to review more Star Wars stuff as it comes out as I have time for. I'm kind of preoccupied, I guess, with DC stuff because I'm a huge DC fan. But I do like Star Wars as well. And I'm sure I'll be doing more Star Wars stuff in the future. But thank you for watching. I appreciate your viewership. Please like and subscribe all the video. Well, this video and stuff. Please subscribe to the channel. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.